but at some point she called me away from the line and um, and I saw Prince Charles look at me and I said oh boy she said I want to talk to you so I said yeah what's what's happening she said are you gonna do Dirty Diana tonight I said no no I took it out of the show out of respect for you she said that's my favorite song I said, are you serious? I said, I took it out of respect because I'm dirty, Diane, you're in the audience. So at that point, I couldn't put it back in the show because it was too close to showtime. So um, I remember um, Prince Charles leaving the line, walking over to us, and he said, what are you talking about? And she said, oh, nothing like that. So <laughs> that was that story. And there's a couple other ones, but I don't want to you know, <laughs> say too much. Say a few words to your fans, Michael. Anything else? Happy to be here. How does it feel to be meeting the royalty tonight? <laughs> Very right. excited. Which is a wonderful, warm, compassionate uh, person. Very caring. Very caring. It was real. It wasn't uh, publicity stuff. It was real. She really cared. I'm the same way. I feel the same way that she does about children and the future of our children and the future of the world. What I usually do on my off days, I do as many hospitals as I do concerts. I do as many orphanages as I do concerts. But because it's good news, the press don't cover it. They want bad news. But I do it from my heart. I don't do it to wave a flag and say, look at me. We bring bags of toys and posters and albums. And you should see how we're transforming these kids. They jump up and down and they're so happy. This is Lisa Marie and myself at a hospital in Budapest. And I saw this little kid. His, his name was Farkas. He was very sick. He was green in the face. But he had this, this glow and it's just sparkling in his eye. I asked this nurse, what's, what's wrong with this kid? She said that uh, he needs a liver. So uh, I said, does that mean he's going to die? She said, yes, he's going to die unless he gets a liver. I said, I'm not going to let him die, this sweet, sweet angel. No matter what it takes, I'm going to find a liver for him. So I sent my organization around the world. We went all over the place, and it took a long time. And I said, I'm not giving up. I'm, I'm not going to have the child die. I was so happy when I got a phone call. They told me we found the liver, and he has his life. And I'm so proud that I could help him. God bless him. I love you, Farkas.